And so Ray is there, and uh, she takes this stance. Uh, th 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 this is the stance, okay? And she is holding it, and she goes like this on one side of the rock, and she goes like this. This is horrible because there is no forward and back balance. This stance like this, okay? Get a solid knock, you didn't go flying back. Why do you think in martial arts the stance is always a foot forward and the foot isn't directly back behind that one? It's off, okay? So this means you get forward and back stability and also side to side stability. This is the most fundamental stance in so many martial arts. But this thing, okay? <laughs> No! So after she does the whole uh -huh, uh -huh thing, you look here, and then she does this twirly thing, grabbing it like, and she grabs it in an underarm grip like this. Have you ever seen, like, if anyone, you know, has started to struggle with have you ever seen a grip like this? You'll find that it's extremely rare if not just non-existent at all. The only time you'd use a grip like this is if you're using a dagger, trying stabby stabby. But in actual sword fighting, no, you get far less articulated movement with it like this. I mean, it looks cool and you can do, you know, oh, oh look, look, I'm spitting the sword. And then you see kind of an up, the camera is down, facing up, and you see her doing this. This isn't an over exaggeration. This is what she is doing. <laughs> Not only is the stance horribly wrong, okay? She's doing these wide baseball bat swings and ending like this. Over swinging is bad because if you miss your mark, you're wide open. A lot of sword strikes end with the sword remaining on point, okay? Where it's there or it's ready to go into another guard position. Keeping the sword on point, very important. And the circumstances where you do a strike and you overextend, you don't do it all the way. You only do it enough and you need to get, have, keep in mind the follow-up strikes that you'd want to do with a sword unless you, that's the killing strike and you do this big slash and the opponent is dead. Ray doing this whole thing. <laughs> so bad. The first engagement, okay, there's this red guy, he hits, he gets knocked back, and then he's kind of just spinning around and stuff like that, and he goes in for an attack, but Ray is actually going to get hit, so he has to pull the attack and purposefully miss, 
And uh, so, so Ray should be dead there. They really mess up the choreography in there because there's one thing, there's this guy, okay, he's got this weird staffy thing and he splits it into two daggers and he's fighting Ray with two daggers. And there's this part where he, uh, he grabs Ray like this and uh, the knife in his hand disappears. They legitimately edit it out. Have a look, slow motion, you see this? There's a dagger and uh, you know, Ray, should be dead, she can't defend her back. The guy has a dagger right there, you could have stabbed her in the back, and they see this and they're like, whoops, we'll just make that dagger disappear. Is that a new force power, right? You can make weapons disappear. I started off counting and then the more pain I was getting, I was like, yeah. I don't get it, I just get through this minute. <laughs> Please like, subscribe, and comment on the video. May the force be with you.